You young soldier who might have been my son, you who were born into poverty, you who wanted to do the right thing, you who were kind, you who were always smiling, you who were going to marry her forever, you who played by the rules. Sent by a man so much smaller in mind and spirit at 60 than you ever were at 20. Sent by a man who in all his days outnumbering yours threefold, a man still alive, living in luxury. Do not bother yourself when they erect statues with his grimly smiling face. Do not trouble yourself when they build libraries imprinted with his name. He was the mad agent of madness who sent you there to die alone with so many other innocent daughters, so many other innocent sons. Do not bother yourself that you died for his grandiose ego, chosen by our fear. Do not trouble yourself that this truth will never be told. For as you perhaps learned before your hands, eyes, ears, limbs were torn from you, leaving only a beating heart, pushing your blood into the sand, most will choose to construct comforting falsities that will encourage this to happen again. Do not despair that your death and the deaths of your kindreds will be draped with a flag of lies and lifted into the breeze of our fear before the library erected to honor the acclaimed leader who gave the orders. Forgive us, my son. The truth is, most truths are forgotten, including the truth of your blood clinging to desert sands moving across the oil below.